Exactly a year ago, I was knee deep in doing graduate school applications. I so badly wanted to go to graduate school after having worked for a few years in New York, and I just knew that I was itching to get more done, and I felt like I couldn't do it with my job at the time. And so I applied to many graduate schools and got into one of my dream schools, which was Columbia University, and now have been studying full time. And here's a little snippet of my life now that I dreamed about exactly a year ago. Hopefully it gives you inspiration that you can do it too. Normally my day starts off with always with a cup of coffee before I do any work. I feel like this is my grounding meditation that gets me going for the rest of the day. And I try to stick to a writing routine in the morning around like 6, 7 a.m. I've been trying to do my more, more creative writing in the mornings before I start my schoolwork. Although I have to admit that sometimes this works better on some days and not others, depending on the level of assignments and work that I have going on in, during the week. But this separate time to actually try and do my more creative things has been extremely helpful. Then I always have to go take Mia for a walk. This is a non-negotiable as the dog has to get walked. And I find this also just like clears my brain much better. As students, if you're a student, you do end up staring at your screen a lot or sitting in the library and doing research and reading so many books and articles that your brain kind of just wants to combust. <laughs> so going out into nature is wonderful. Even if you don't have a dog, just go do it. This park is specifically Central Park. I have never gone to Central Park as much as I do now, and I completely love it. Here's little Mia running around. Normally after my walk, I then come back home, make some breakfast. This morning I made breakfast for my roommate and I. And we had a little chat while we both got ready, which was extremely nice. Then I got ready for the day and headed off onto campus. So I spent the morning at the library just because I had to do quite a bit of research and reading for my classes. The readings I was doing was specifically for my American Social Movements class in which we've studied various different social movements ranging from the Haitian Revolution to student protests at Columbia. So this day specifically, I was looking at readings dealing with the student protest of 1968 that happened at Columbia University, which was quite interesting as I didn't actually know about this history beforehand. And I think it's always good to know about the type of political activist work that happened of any institution that you're part of, especially if it concerns a lot of policies that you're currently dealing with as a student body or as an employee and how those interact together. My study tip advice is definitely to try to put your phone away and your computer on airplane mode if you're doing something that is just on a Word document. I found this a critical skill to try to hone in on because I really found that when I was working, I actually could zone out and like browse the internet a lot. But when trying to do grad school reading, you really don't have the ability to just constantly be on your phone when you're doing a really dense reading, specifically if it's like very theoretical. So I find this the most helpful. Sometimes
after having a study work session, I then headed off to a lecture that was happening midday with an author that was being hosted at one of Columbia centers. It was extremely interesting. And then I had it, I had to head off to my class. The class that I went to this day was American Cultural Criticism. We have been studying what the traditions of cultural criticism, specifically within a U.S. context, have been, and various cultural critics, such as Susan Sontag. We started off with Constance O'Rourke, who was not my favorite, but we did read her. <laughs> And now soon I'll be wrapping up with finals and I actually have to write a really large final for this class. So that will be interesting. And I came back home and I had a package actually from a publisher that I was extremely excited to read. This was Art Monster by Lauren Elkin, Unruly Bodies and Feminist Art. I loved this book. Had a little snack and then was off to more work in the afternoon. I did a few, I had to submit a few discussion posts for my class that require you to submit discussion posts before the class itself. And then it was time to make dinner. I always try to make it a priority to actually make myself dinner and cook something fresh. This doesn't always happen. It's a very ideal, idealistic idea. But today I made mushroom gnocchi, which is my like signature dish that I love making. It's extremely easy. Just chuck in some onions, garlic, various spices, the mushrooms. You then add some heavy cream, let that simmer for a while. And then you fold in the gnocchi. Put on some parmesan and voila. I don't know what else you would want from a pasta dish. It was also, it's just gotten started to get really cold. And I feel like whenever it gets really cold, I crave very like cheesy dishes. And this just had to be one of them. It satisfied my cravings. I had some dinner while watching some YouTube and just tried to really zone out. And then I had a reading session going over some books and sources that may be of interest for my final research papers. I am actually not a good evening worker. Like I try and get most of my work done early in the morning, in the afternoon. In the evening, I actually get really, really sleepy and I find it extremely hard to stay concentrated, especially when it comes to reading texts in the evening and not nodding off to sleep. But this evening was actually kind of successful, although Mia was begging for a lot of attention, as you can see, and she did not want to leave me alone until I played with her. Although I played with her the whole day beforehand, and I couldn't just keep giving her attention. So I gave her a little pat, and she seemed to kind of calm down. Then I started getting ready for bed, washed my face, said goodnight to Mia, did some reading, and that was it. That was my day as a history master student at Columbia University.